Hey guys, this is Mike, and this is the 14th video in the LibGDX desktop tutorial. So in the last video, we pretty much covered uh, everything there is for the main game. We have the main menu, and um, we can play the game. And now what we're going to do is we're going to be working on the high scores. And in order to do that, we need to know how to save the high scores. And we're going to do that by saving all of that stuff to a file. And then we can read back that file into the game to get the high scores that we saved. So it's going to look something like this. Um, here's the Asteroids game. We're going to have a class called Game Data. And this class is what we're going to save directly into a save file. And we're going to use this uh, other class here. Uh, save handler to read uh, to write the game data class into the save file and to read the save file back into the game data class. So basically we're going to save an instance of game data out to a file like this. And uh, so yeah, so here's all the game parts to the left and this is the save file here on the right side. So that's what basically it's going to look like. Um, so let's get started. First off, we're going to need the high score state. So we're going to make that here. Public static final int. Uh, let's just call this high score. This could be whatever. Um, and we're going to add that to the set state. This is in game state manager, by the way. State is equal to high score. Uh, game state is equal to new I score state this okay um, let's go ahead and make that over in the game states package new class I score state extends game state and of course every game state needs those uh, methods um, I score state game state manager DSM Super GSM, and then we need init uh, update float dt draw um, and handle input. I think that's it, right? Nope. Dispose, right? I forgot about that. So those five methods. Okay, so this is the high score state. This is the state where we, we're going to pretty much just show all the high scores that we have so far. Um, so let's just first start off by showing that we can actually switch this high score state. So sprite batch, we're going to use that to draw text. Again, we're going to need a bitmap font. Let's call it font. And uh, we're going to keep the high scores in an array of longs. And we're going to keep names as well in an array of strings. So you know, you know who the uh, which person got that high score. Oh, let's import these two. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, let me move this down. We have init. Okay, so let's just start the sprite batch here and use the free type font generator again to. Uh, Create our fonts new, retype font generator, um, gdx.files.internal. We're still using fonts slash hyperspace bold.ttf. You can probably <laughs> just put this somewhere else, like somewhere global, so you only have to load this up once, but whatever. Font is equal to uh, gen.generate font. Let's make a size 20. And uh, yeah, that's going to get us started for now. Um, update handle input, of course. And let's, uh, let's do the handle input stuff first, because it's uh, really, really simple. All we're going to do is check if we press the uh, escape or enter, whichever. If game keys uh, is press, um, Game keys that enter, or game keys that is pressed. Game keys that uh, escape. 
then we just want to go back to the main menu gsm dot set state uh, game state manager dot menu there we go now let's do the draw method first of all set the projection matrix uh, game dot cam dot combined I didn't do this with the other one so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna fix that in play state um, where is it draw 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 First thing I'm gonna do here is uh, sb dot set projection matrix uh, game dot cam that combined and sr I think sr you need that also yep uh, game dot cam dot combined hopefully that works um, what's going on here let me just go back to the game state manager and import the high score state and over here import the game. Uh, my game, not the GDX game. Um, let me just double check to make sure that the cam combined didn't mess everything up. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so that's it for play state. So back in high score state, um, we have draw set projection matrix cam dot combined. Um, sp dot begin and sp.end. Here we're just gonna, well, let's just start off by drawing the uh, high scores pretty much first. Font.draw sp and we're just gonna do high scores. And I'm just gonna draw it at 100, 100. This is just a test, so we're gonna change this later. And we have to have a way to get into the high score state from the menu state. So back in menu state here, where we have the select method, zero is play, we go to the play state, one is the high score state, we go to the high score state. I called it high score. So there we go, gsm.ss state, gmc manager high score. So let's see if that works. Uh, high scores. There we go. And if I press enter or escape, I should go back to the main menu. Yep. Okay, so it works. It's fine. So here is our high score state, pretty much. So now we need to load up and create uh, a save file and uh, write to it and then read from it. And uh, like I said before here, we're going to put all of our high scores into this class here called game data. So... Let's go ahead and put that in the managers package. Create a new class. We're going to call this game data. And this is where we are going to keep our high scores. Um, and we're going to use serialization to save this an instance of this class to a file. So implements serializable. And just make sure to import that. This is Java IO serializable. And of course, we need to give it some uh, serial version. Uh, it's called serial version UID. You can give it whatever you want. I'm just gonna use one. Doesn't matter. Well, it does matter in the long run. Or, well, I'm not exactly an expert on serializable. I'm not exactly sure what this ID is for. It's something about, like, if you change the class and then you, like, read and write and it's a different version or something like that and it's incompatible whatever private final int back scores I'm never gonna change this class so this really I, I don't think it has any use for this game we're going to keep 10 total high scores so the top 10 scores will be saved so that's max scores of 10 I'm gonna use a long array to keep the high scores and a string array to keep the names um, we're also going to use something called a tentative score, and this is a score that we're checking to see if it made it into the high scores before we actually add it into the high scores list. So that's that. Um, public game data. Here we go. Just make a new high scores uh, array, new long, of max scores length. Same thing with the names string max scores and uh, let's go ahead and create a 
an init initializer function and for int i is zero just go through every single uh, element in both arrays and set them to pretty much empty i is less than max scores i plus plus i scores is going to be zero and the names is going to be just uh, that pretty much empty name so in it this uh, sets up an empty high scores table pretty much and uh, let's get some, use uh, let's create some getters here long get high scores return high scores one for the names get names return names there we go okay so uh, let's also use one for the tentative high score so public long uh, why did I use tentative I should have called it temp or something because that's just a pain to type out uh, so just use getters and setters for that one tentative score and I ten score is equal to i. There you go. Getter and setter. And uh, say a method to determine whether or not that score is uh, greater than or if that's that temporary score made it into the high scores table. So is high score um, return ten score is greater than high scores max score minus one pretty much we're going to uh, keep the high scores in order the top one the uh, at element zero the first high score is going to be the highest and the last one the uh, tenth high score is going to be the lowest high score so in order for a new score to make it into the high score table it just has to be higher than the the, the high score that's all the way at the bottom pretty much so every time we add a high score, we have to resort it, unless um, we're using insertion sort. But whatever, I just add it to the end of the list, and then I resort it pretty much. Public void high score. We're going to add a new score here. String name. If is oh, eh. Let's do long score here and change that to score. We're just going to pass in the score to check. Uh, so add high score. We're going to try to add this high score using this name to the high scores list. If is high score, um, new score. So this is going to check whether or not this is a valid high score. And uh, we're just going to add it. High scores max scores minus one. We're just going to pop the last score off of the list and then put the new one in there. And uh, names max scores minus one is equal to name. And then we're going to sort the high scores list. And we're going to do that here. Public void. Uh, I don't know if it should be public. I don't think anyone else is going to use it, but we'll see. Let's make it public for now. Public void sort high scores for int i. Um, everyone should know some kind of sorting algorithm for arrays. Um, as less than max scores, i plus plus. This is the uh, sorting method where I just go through the entire array one by one, and then I go through the entire array a second time, or an inner loop, and then check to see the switching. Uh, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Bubble sort, I think. I have no idea. I'm not. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, string name is names i. I just found this on Wikipedia. Int j. Where j is equal to i. Uh, i minus one. I mean, j is greater than or equal to zero. And high scores. J. Let me just move this to the next line. Ugh. For j is equal to i minus one. Uh, J is uh, 
j is greater than or equal to zero and high scores j is less than score j plus plus and uh, pretty much we're just going to move it over one j plus one is equal to high scores j same thing with the names names j plus one is equal to names j so basically we're just sorting by moving it over to the next spot if it's uh, if it's a lower score pretty much so we're just sifting basically and then the last one after the loop uh, high score j plus one is equal to score this is the new score and names um, oops j plus one this is a uh, name right this isn't the new score I mean my bad. So this is the sorting method where I just sift through all the scores and then just move them up one by one to check if they should be in the correct spots. Um, so yeah, that's game data. Uh, yeah. So again, like I said before, this is our thing here. Game, game data. We're going to save game data into the save file. And that's what we need this implement serializable for. So now that we have we have the game, we have game data, now we need the save handler. So this class is going to save and uh, write and read to a save file. So let's create that class here. I'm just going to call it save. And um, it's going to keep an instance of the game data public static void and it's going to have uh, a couple of methods public void save public static void load um, public static boolean save file exists I don't really know if this is necessary um, but I have it here just in case and uh, file f is new file we're going to save to a file called highscores.sav you can name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter import that and return f dot exists pretty much and uh, public static void init this is going to start it up by creating a new game data and call init on that and then save so if we didn't have a save file before it's just going to save one now so save and load these two methods save obviously is going to save this game data class into the save file and load is going to read from the save file and put it into the game data create a game data instance out of it um... so save we have uh... try catch anytime we're dealing with file io we have to always use try catch exception e uh, Java recommends you use specific exceptions if you want, but I don't know, it's not really necessary. Or I don't want to give you any bad coding habits, but uh, I don't find it necessary too much. So uh, we want to save as a binary file so we don't give the user a chance to change the high scores manually. So we're going to use an object output stream for this new object output stream and uh... oops wow. okay new uh... let me import that new file output stream high scores .sav. import there we go and we're going to do out dot write gd and out that close. Oops, not right. Right object, I mean. So pretty much, we're writing a class, an instance of a class, out to a file. And of course, load does the exact opposite. Um, try again the try catch exception e. You know, print stack trace. This should never happen, by the way. Um, this 
exception but I'm just gonna keep it there just in case if not save file exists in it if the save file doesn't exist yet we're just going to create a new one and then save it so that's pretty much what this these two methods are for so that load and then um, what we're going to do is uh, I guess we can return here we don't need to go any further we're going to use again object input stream instead of an output stream this time in new object input stream input stream import that and uh, new file input stream instead of an output stream high scores .sav. there we go import that and of course we're gonna do GD is equal to game data in that read object in that close there we go so that's pretty much it save load so we have everything here we need to start the save uh, file so let's go back into the high scores state. Now over here I told you uh, this is just temporary so what we're going to do is we're going to now finish up the high score state string s uh, float w. We're going to use these to center the title and the high scores. So first off s is high scores and the width is get bounds s dot width and font.draw, of course, in order to center it, we have to draw a game width minus w, oops, divided by 2, and let's say 300 high. See what that looks like? Yep, okay, so that's just up here. Cool, and now we're going to go through all of the high scores that we have. i is less than high scores that length, i plus plus, and s is string dot format. We're going to, the way I'm going to uh, show the high scores is I'm going to show the high score first, do a couple of spaces, and then show the name of the person who got that high score. So this is format, um, uh, I'm not very comfortable with string format, I'm not, uh, I don't memorize like what some of these do, uh, what is that, percent 2d dot, percent 7s, and S. I know this is like a decimal. I guess this means two places or something. And this is seven place string. And this is a uh, just plain string. I think I plus one. Um, I plus one. I scores I and names I. There we go. And uh, of course the width is font that get bounds s dot width okay and font dot draw sps game dot width minus w divided by two two seventy minus twenty times i so we're just going to go down the screen with all the high scores now um, back over in init we need to actually fill up these high scores and names arrays because right now they're empty so what we're going to do is save dot load load a save file and get the high scores and names from the game data that save has so high scores you go to save dot gd dot get high scores and names save dot gd dot get names so pretty much just like that. Um, so that's pretty much it I guess. So let's test this out. Hopefully it doesn't break. Go into the high scores. There we go. High scores 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All empty. Cool. So if we go in here and we click refresh. Uh, where is it? Hmm. That's weird. Refresh. Come on, don't 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 mess with me. Okay, never mind, I'll figure it out later. 
So that's pretty much that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the high scores for now. And uh, well, that's pretty much it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to write to the high scores list after you've finished playing the game. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.